Hey there, this is Mark. In this video, we'll take a look at the gradient node mat. First, I'm going to start with my scene and unhook this prior modification we had done to cut away the bush. And I'm going to move my character to the center so that we can see it front and center. Next, I'll add a cutter to my character as I want to cut it with a gradient node. And I'll grab the gradient node, which is available in your favorites by default, and drag that in. In order to see what the gradient does, I'll plug it to my composite. So basically, a gradient is the difference between two colors and the range in between them. If I'd like to see how to control this, I can hit the Show Controls button up here in my camera view. If you don't have these buttons, you can select the right click on your camera view and go to camera view over here to make sure that's checked on. So with the gradient node selected, I'll hit the Show Transform button and I'll select my transform tool. Just make sure that your animate button is turned off as we don't want to set keyframes. So I can then grab these points and rotate and scale the gradient that I have to determine what kind of range I want. And what we're trying to do here is we're going to use this shape to say wherever the white pixels are will cut away and wherever the dark ones are will be transparent so they won't affect the image. That's done, so I will turn off my controls by using hide controls. And I'll disconnect my gradient. Now if I connect my gradient directly to the mat port, my character will go away and I will not be able to see him in render view at all. What we need to do is tell the gradient that we want to transform the black and the white into transparent values and opaque values. The gradient, even though it's black and white, is a fully opaque image. So we're going to use a node that's called the grayscale. Type in gray into your search bar in your node library and drag a grayscale module inside the node view. We're going to attach the gray scale to the gradient. Now if we click the properties here, we can see that there's an option for a matte output. If this is not checked on, then the gradient is simply just getting a grayscale treatment which is not much of a revelation given the fact that it's already black and white. If we click the matte output, what that does is it creates a transparent area where the black pixels were and an opaque area where the white pixels were. To show this, I can simply plug this into my composite. Now if we hit our render view, we'll see that the gradient is white at the bottom going into transparent. And if we click and drag this grayscale into our matte port instead, now half the character is fading off. Now we're getting these semi-transparencies because the pass-through peg at the bottom here of our character allows every piece to come through. If we go outside, we simply have to add a new composite. Control H on your keyboard for PC or Command H for Macintosh. And I'll drag this into the composite and out. So this essentially flattens our character and allows one single layer to be cut away, which fades off our character quite naturally. If you'd like, you can also use the animated mat, which is a new feature in Harmony 15 to do the gradient. Simply type in animated mat. There's the module. And this module is covered in a different set of videos, but this, the concept can still be used where you have fading off shapes creating gradients to affect or cut away parts of a character or a proper BG.